Welcome back, everybody. Today is National Love Your Pet Day. There's Otto. That's Heather Prusak's Otto. There's my Lucy. Pete loves his Marley. Marley right, right there. there. And then Patrick's got Gigi. And what's the other one? I don't <laughs> we want to see your pictures too so send them to us on Facebook or Twitter be sure to use the hashtag beyond too so we can share them on air you know pet ownership really can be challenging sometimes full of unexpected delights also though mm -hmm. they also might be left on your doorstep or on your carpet too right sure, Kate? Yes. <laughs> but one Western New York couple never expected that getting a dog would end up completely changing their lives. Kate, what's the deal with this? It really has, and this is a story that was so fun to do, I have to be honest. I love seeing everybody's pets, and this was a great opportunity to do that. And it was a day much different from today, involving something I have never experienced with people and pets I have never met. And I learned when you find something that sparks passion in you, there's no reason to hit pause. I'll bring them out on the leash and unharness them. Once upon a time, Two people got a dog. We got a Siberian Husky. <laughs> we went on a uh, dog sledding vacation in Algonquin Park up in Ontario in 1999, 2000, 2000 uh, and uh, that kind of hooked us. The next thing we knew, we had two, and then four, and then six, and here we are. <laughs> Hi, this is like the greatest day ever. <laughs> so goes the story of Kathy and Dennis Brundage and Remy, and Zena, and Laurel, and Jack, and Sam, and Gus. Is there a rascal in the group? Yes. There's four rascals in the group. Kathy and Dennis are part of the Siberian Husky Club of the Niagara Frontier. They and about a dozen other Western New Yorkers not only share a love for their Huskies, but also of dog sledding. All right, we're getting on. It's easy to see why, and not just for the exhilarating wind in your face feeling, which is completely awesome, by the way, but for how quickly you learn that this isn't just a team or a sport, it's a family. We don't just race them and put them away like a snowmobile. They are, live with us 365 days a year. They live in the house with us. They sleep with us. Like any family, it can be a little crazy. One of them will lick your face off if she gets the chance. But there is a lot really, of love. Really obedient it's a real good bond between he and I, too. Um, it works not just between the dogs, but between us as well. Kathy and Dennis couldn't have predicted that when they decided to get a dog, they'd end up with an entire sled team. But they also can't imagine life any other way. One of the best things we've ever done was to get all these dogs and do this. We love it. We absolutely love it. Go on the bus. It all started with just one dog and sledding is just a small part of the Siberian Husky Club of the Niagara Frontier, by the way. They are dedicated to promoting responsible pet ownership and dog breeding. They offer obedience training and they are sanctioned by the American Kennel Club. And special thanks to Dennis and Kathy for sharing this world and their dogs with us. Kathy said it all. They're just a great group of dogs and just great people as well. It was just a great day. And on the bus. Get on the bus. <laughs> oh, awesome story, Kate. Thanks for bringing that to us. 